Hello brothers. Some of you know I used to be a sheriff and I was responsible for escorting prisoners to court, to their holding cells, to prison. I was responsible for serving warrants and subpoenas. And in that role you meet all kinds of people. Um, you even meet Christians who are incarcerated. One of the things that uh, takes place when they're waiting uh, to be processed is that they have a period of time to wait in their cells and some of them will even pick up a Bible and start to read it. Uh, on this occasion, I was charged to escort a young black man by the name of Ebo to court. And as I was approaching his cell, I noticed that he was reading a Bible. So I brought him out of a cell and as we were walking, I asked him, are you a believer? And he said to me, yes. And I said, so what are you doing here then? And he said to me, I've just messed up badly. I've broken the law, I'm in trouble now. I was in the book of Acts at this time and I was uh, reading how God had used the apostles while they were incarcerated. And I relayed this story to Ebo. I concluded by uh, saying to him that does not the Lord tell us to redeem our time wisely? He looked at me and he said, you know, that's the most encouraging thing that I've heard in a long time. I brought him into court and brought him back to his holding cell. And as the other sheriffs were doing their rounds through the cells, a number of them were coming back and saying, there's a, a, a black man in the cell back there and he's got all the men in the cell and they're in a full fledged Bible study. He says, what's going on here? Um, Brothers, as this COVID virus continues to do what it's doing and we are in uh, isolation, even incarcerated uh, in our homes, sort of say, I just want to ask you, should we not be redeeming our time wisely? Proverbs 9.10 says, Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is insight. Uh, I challenge you, brothers, that this, the continuous daily input of God's word into you and your, your family's life is, is very important right now. And I just want to encourage you to, to do this. Uh, some of you, it'll be a chapter a day. Some of you, it'll be 10 chapters a day, whatever that might be. Uh, men who are involved in the five o'clock men's club, they will hear me say continuously, train hard and win easy. Well, this applies the same way to spiritual conditioning. Train hard men and win easy. As we go through this challenging time, you will be steadfast in the Lord as we come through this. Uh, remember your elders uh, in prayer. Remember your family members, your, your loved ones, and even those who are put into your association who don't know the Lord, lift them up in prayer. If there's anything that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to call or to write. I'm at your service. Faith and courage, brothers.